What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dave. I mostly talk about Leica and photography. Today I'm gonna to be doing a gift guide and it's gifts that I would love to give. Unfortunately though, this is not a giveaway video. Wish it was, but it is not. Also, none of the links below are affiliate links because I am not important enough to have affiliate links. Everything in this video is stuff that I enjoy using and have found helpful for me as a photographer. And I've also got a couple of things for you along the way as well. Also, none of the things in this video are in any type of order. They're just kind of randomly listed in terms of pricing or product. So this isn't like a worst to best or anything like that. Just completely random list of 10 things that you might find helpful for yourself to put on your Christmas list so you can send this video to to the people that love you. Or if you're looking for gifts for photographers, this is a great list. So let's jump right in. Okay, let's first talk about the problem before I tell you the solution. Around 2012, 2013, I picked up this black card case to carry my SD cards in. It's great because it's lightweight and it's waterproof and I can throw it in my bag. However, I cannot tell you the number of times I've opened up this case on the go and all of a sudden like, so you open it up and uh, oh wow, everything just falls out. It kind of sucks because I actually have dropped numerous SD cards from cases like this one. This one's about to fall out too. We'll bump, there it goes. You bump this thing and it's done. Your cards are falling out. And sometimes even within your bag, if you're checking this or if you are carrying it and sloshing it around, it's real easy for those cards to move around a little bit, then you open the case, and of course they fall out. This has been a problem for about a decade for me. And maybe I'm the only one that has this problem, but I cannot believe that's true. So our first product on our list not only fixes that problem, but adds a few other awesome things as well. And that is this case. This is the Create Mate by PGY Tech. This also is a very lightweight and small case. And the cool thing is to access your SD cards, you just press on the bottom and they pop out in a slot, seals back up that way. But just to point out why this is such a beneficial thing is that the cards are slotted in here. They actually lock into place and there's literally nothing you're gonna be able to do to get that card out in any way, shape, or form. They just stay right in their spot. Back in the day when I picked this one up, this one, of course, has 12 slots and even like, you know, the little mini slots in there is, so you can carry more cards than something like this, but as time has gone on, you don't really need to carry as much cards anymore. You can get 128 gig cards or 256 or 64 and have kind of everything you need. This has four SD card slots. It has four of the micro SD card slots and it even has two SIM card slots. So if you travel internationally and you have international numbers or just wanna grab a SIM card, you can pop them in there. Now, of course, with the move to eSIM, that does feel a little bit irrelevant, but there's a lot of phones out there, so this might be very useful to somebody. So this is a great case to carry your SD cards in. Additionally though, if you travel with a phone or an iPad and you just wanna snag your photos off your SD card and you don't have a laptop, or perhaps you have a laptop that doesn't have an SD card reader like Apple did to us for many years, this case is also an SD card reader. There's a cable that pops out, it's a USB-C cable, and plugs right into your computer and you'll have a couple of slots right here, one for an SD card and one for the micro SD card. And you can just use this as a dock to access your SD cards. And when you're done, simply wrap the cable back around and tuck it in. It tucks in really clean. It doesn't like continually try to pop out. And you close the case up and throw it back in your bag. Here's the craziest thing. I just looked this up. This case is $35, 35 bucks. This, as a case and a card reader is $40. So for $5 more, you get a much better design, better system, and it's a card reader. The PGY Tech Create Mate, the link is below. Great gift for 40 bucks. Put it in a photographer's stocking. Next up on our list is This Light by Ambitful. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There it is. Now, there are some major players in the light space. Ambitful is a budget light. 
These lights are $50 each, these little tubes here. They are the RGB tube. I have four of them. I use them and have been using them since the beginning of this channel as my lights on the side here. In fact, let's grab the old phone. These lights connect Bluetooth to your Ambitful app. And with that app, you can change the lights to whatever color you want. And I'm just sliding my thumb around the dial here. I can control the color that I want. I can also control the intensity. I mean, that right there, that's that's bright. I run these lights on these YouTube videos, which if you've seen any of my other videos, you've always seen these lights. I run them at like 15% and they're more than enough light. They have a lot of different modes, colors, the battery life is great, and they are only $50. So I have about 200 into four lights, but they're incredibly useful, not just for lighting up my office space here, but they're useful for some shoots that I do. Uh, I keep one in my bag when I travel, because you just never know when you want to pull out a light or something. And also they're magnetic. And if you have any type of magnetic strip, they just sit right up there. Easy peasy. These Ambitful lights are linked below. You can check them out and grab one or more. Have some fun with them. Gift number three is not necessarily a photography related thing, but it's something that I find incredibly useful and have found useful for well over a decade. And that are these moleskin pocket notebooks, specifically the pocket cashier's notebooks. So let me tell you how I use these. This is small and lightweight and can fit in any bag that I need to put anything in. I keep this in my camera bag uh, when I'm traveling. I keep it in my backpack and my everyday work bag. I keep a notebook in there as well. You just never know when you might wanna take notes about something on the go and you don't want to pull out your phone or you need your phone for something else while you're writing things down. One of the most useful things you can do if you're a film shooter especially is write down what film is in your camera, like a journal entry, and then if you want, write down the shot number, especially if you're like taking multiple exposures of the same thing and you're trying to like maybe compare how your shots look, maybe overexposed by one stop or two stops. It's really easy to just write down the shot number and what that was and your settings on all that. So it's almost like a good film journal and it's so small, you can keep it in a pocket. I actually normally keep this in my back pocket with my phone when I'm out and about. This is a really inexpensive thing to give people and it's very practical and you can again, use it for anything. When I'm watching YouTube videos that are educational for me that I'm like learning from or taking notes, I use these. Anytime I'm on a plane and I download some videos to watch, like YouTube videos or whatever, this is my go-to notebook. Moleskin journals like this come in a pack of three for $13. This is like a no-brainer, easy stocking stuffer, easy gift to give anybody. So Moleskin notebooks, link below. All right, next up, we've got a bunch of gear from Nomad Good, specifically some phone cases here. I have been shooting for Nomad Goods for several years. And if you go to their website and click on the wallpaper section, you'll see my face and some free downloads. So go check that out. But Nomad makes incredible stuff. I've been using Nomad for, my gosh, I don't even know when I started using it. Whatever year the first Apple Watch came out because it was that year that I picked up a Nomad leather band from Best Buy of all places. That band was my ride or die on my Apple Watch 1, then later my Apple Watch 3, and then later my Apple Watch 5, until that band basically disintegrated after many, many years and Nomad gave me another one, which is what's currently on here that I've had for a couple years now. One of the greatest things about Nomad is they make high quality leather goods. And like my phone case on my iPhone 15, this case looks good and it feels great in your hand. And if you are a leather fan, you are probably disappointed that Apple discontinued all their leather, but that's okay because Apple's leather goods don't hold a candle to Nomad's leather goods in terms of quality. Also, the way that the leather that Nomad sources says ages is just beautiful. This AirPod Pro case that I got right around the beginning of the pandemic has been on these AirPods now for over three years. It has, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. In fact, I want to show you a before and after because I happen to have another AirPod case here that they had sent me to photograph. I'm going to put these side by side so you can see them, but we're talking like brand new 
year three. They are just beautiful in how they age. But leather is not their only thing. They also make these rugged iPhone cases like this one that is orange. They make, and then like our kind of army sage green. We've got sport cases that are more of a lightweight shell. They have other Apple Watch bands. They have iPad cases. They have tons of great chargers, whether for your Apple Watch or for your phone and MagSafe accessories. This is a company that is doing Apple better than Apple. Let's just be straight up about it. They are doing Apple products better than Apple does Apple products. And because I have such a great relationship with Nomad, they are giving my viewers 10% off any purchase from their website. So be sure to go to Nomad Goods and snag something for someone or again, just simply forward this video to somebody that loves you and is gonna hook you up. You get 10% off your purchase using the code that is right below. So be sure to snag that code and go check out Nomad Goods and that at least download some free wallpaper that I've provided for them. There's also some blogs on there that I've written. One of them was about a national park trip that I did during the pandemic. Check that out too. Fantastic people, fantastic company. You'll just love their stuff. All right, next up on the list is a gift card from Very Good Presets. If you've seen any of my prior videos, you know that my shop, Very Good Presets, makes some film emulation looks as well as a couple of digital looks. We've got an exciting lineup from 2023 and an even more exciting lineup coming in 2024 with some collaborations and some just really cool stuff that's coming down the pipeline. This is a great time to snag a very good presets gift card. You can grab it for any photographer in your life. This makes a very easy gift to give somebody because the gift of editing is a wonderful gift because it is not only practical to use in photography, but it also is educational because I learned to color grade by looking at other people's color grades over many years. And so you you can explore my presets, see how they look, how they operate. Go to the link below and snag a very good presets gift card and give the gift of color grading to someone on your Christmas list. Okay, next up on our list is another very practical thing that won't just benefit photographers, but really just comes in handy for anybody. And that is a good knife. What I've got here was actually a Christmas gift to me last year by my wonderful mother. This is the James Brand Carter Knife. It is lightweight, high quality. This is in my pocket every single day. And I'm an elder millennial and I wear skinny jeans and it just slots right in. Clip this on the outside. I don't even notice it because of its low profile and lightweight. It feels awesome in the hand. It is incredibly sharp and they have this knife in many different designs and a few different price points. And this one that I have, I believe was 150. And I know that feels like a lot of money for a knife, but I can't tell you how much use this knife has gotten between opening packages or even as a flathead screwdriver. Every day, things that come up. Knives are incredibly practical and make easy gifts to give someone. The packaging of this was wonderful. The knife feels so great. You really can't go wrong giving someone in your life a wonderful knife. The James Brand Carter, link is below. All right, this next gift is for the photographer in your life and that is the Godox Lux Junior Retro Flash. Look, let's just get straight up. This flash is not gonna be the one you carry around to your major venues and events. But what it is, is a really wonderful looking flash on your Leica camera. So I'm gonna throw it on my Leica M11 real quick. It goes on the hot shoe of the camera. And if you see it, I mean, it, it looks really cool. It has a nice look about it, especially for like a small camera. So I could see this on the Leica cameras or Fujifilm. It has, a, you put a couple of batteries in it. It syncs up automatically to your camera. Just throw it on the sink. It has a dial on the back for you to dial in the settings you want. And then you just get yourself dialed in, get that focus on point and pull the trigger and it just works. 
I would say from a quality standpoint, this is kind of the equivalent of like an iPhone flash. You're gonna get that more of a retro look. It's not gonna be this incredibly awesome flash, but for the price point, this flash is $60. It's not like an incredibly expensive thing to buy and it'll make a great gift. Or again, you can send it to the person that loves you and put it on your Christmas list. Or if you get one of those Amazon gift cards, just check it out and use it. This is a great look flash it gets the job done it's fun for night photography or low light photography if you want that retro vibe and here's a pro tip for you combine this flash with some of the very good presets specifically like Portra 400 and you'll get a really cool and compelling look Godox Lux Junior Retro Flash 60 bucks link is below Okay, gift number eight on the list. Now this was a hard one because it doesn't really fit the family of products that I've got out here today to show you. However, these are incredibly practical. They're a little spendy, but they really are about the best in their category. And that is the Danner Mountain 600 boots. So these made my list because just last week I was doing some hiking in Yosemite National Park and I was shooting along the river bank and I was walking along the rocks and I misstepped in between two rocks and I ended up immersing my left foot into the river almost up to my knee. I quickly stepped out and I realized that while my jeans were soaking wet, my left foot and the sock were completely dry. Thank goodness for the Danners. Because my foot is not wet at all. And that is not the first time that has happened. I've actually stepped in water plenty of times in these boots. I, and I, I mean like immersed my foot in water and my foot has never gotten wet. These boots are making a mess on my table. These boots, I would say if they were a car, would be considered high mileage at this point. I got these boots in 2019. I have had them in Iceland. I've had them in the Middle East. I've had them in the Canadian Rockies. I've had them in nearly every national park here in the West. They've been on the coast. They've been in the mountains. They've been in snow, rain, mud, sand in the desert. They are my go-to boots. They are incredibly comfortable. And while they are high mileage and I've worn them so much and you can definitely see some wear and tear, especially on the leather, they are still holding up in great shape even after the many, many miles I have put on them. It's kind of nice to be out and shooting or hiking or doing something and not be thinking about the comfort of your walk. Like I don't even think about it because I'm good, like they're comfortable. I'm not thinking about, oh my God, my feet are killing me. Uh, one more mile till I get back to the car. No, these are comfortable, they're warm, whether I've been in like below zero snow or I've been in the middle of summer somewhere, they get the job done. They're wonderful boots, Danner Mountain 600s. Can't go wrong, link is below. All right, we've got two more gifts left. Here is an easy and inexpensive gift. It is the Small Rig Multi-Tool. This is a $20 tool that will make any photographer's life just so much easier. It has all the various sizes of Allen wrenches that you may use on tripods or base plates or any type of rigs. You've also got a flathead, but it's not like a, you know, a little flathead. It's a pretty substantially sized flathead. You have Phillips, you've got a torque screw. You have everything you'll need for photography accessories or photography gear out on the go. This is a $21 tool. It's lightweight. And again, it just has everything that you may need if you're out on a shoot and you're trying to change out a base plate or make a quick repair on something. Like for instance, my Peak Design tripod has gotten looser every couple of months. It just like one of the legs might loosen up and I just pop out the Allen wrench and quickly tighten it up and I'm good to go. Having something like this in your camera bag is incredibly helpful. And this is a very inexpensive way to have a gift to give someone that is very practical and helpful. Small rig, multi-tool, link is right below. Okay, now we are on our last gift. I am a sucker for two things. I'm a sucker for jackets, which is why I have a totally separate jacket rack over here in my office, separate from my closet. But the other thing I'm a sucker for are well-made 
bags. Specifically, bags that can carry my gear comfortably and have easy accessibility, expandability, organization, all those things really matter to me. And so I've got a bag to show you that is on my 2023 list. And that is the Woten Craft Travel Pilot Camera Bag 3.5 liters. Now why this size? This is their second smallest size, but if you are a Leica or possibly even a Fuji film photographer, this camera bag is really all you need to carry your kit, unless you've got like a ridiculous amount of lenses. This bag is light. It's ergonomically well made. It feels good. I wear it as a crossbody on the side here and it's very comfortable. Like where I have the strap puts it right like over my ribs here and it's very easy to get into the things that I need very quickly. I also sometimes while I'm walking will throw it around and kind of hug it because sometimes I shoot in some places that aren't incredibly safe. It feels really nice. It's very well made. Rather than having a zipper, it has this really quick release plate here that you can just open it up and get the things you need in and out. Inside of this bag, you have the ability to organized compartments how you want them. It also has a front zipper here for you to put things like your multi-tool. You close the bag up, snap shut, very secure. I also appreciate the slot on the back because a lot of times when I'm out shooting, I throw in my notebook that I mentioned earlier right into the slot. And I may even throw in my phone just to not be distracted by what's going on with notifications. So I can close that up and it's against my body the whole time and it's not possible for anything to fall out. Now this is not a cheap bag. And what I mean by a cheap bag is kind of two things. It is not cheaply made, nor is it an inexpensive bag. This bag at three and a half liters is 120. And they have other sizes too, sizes that might suit your needs better. There's one smaller than this at two liters. And on the larger side, there's a seven, 10 and 20 liter version of this bag. And of course, by the time you get to 20 liters, you have a full on messenger bag to be able to carry it, literally anything you want. Packing this bag with your Leica or Fuji or any other camera system kit is honestly a joy to use and carry. It's stylish, it looks nice. They have it in black and they have it in this color as well and I believe they are coming out with leather versions. You can check out their website for all of those details to make sure they are accurate. Now before we move on from this bag, they're doing something kind of special this Christmas season. They've got the bag at 120 and of course you can add on some accessories. Let me show you. They have these smaller bags that you can clip on to the sides here. They just slide on and clip on and give the bag some expandability. You know you can kind of build your own kit by getting the things that you think you might need for your everyday carry or your photography when you go out and about on the go. And this company, Wooten Craft, makes a range of products from bags to camera straps and cuffs and other things as well. This Christmas season, they are doing a promotional special that by spending certain thresholds with their company, you get free products in return. Now I put a link below so you can see all of the various levels, but I'll quickly just tell you about them. They have a line of travel bags and travel accessories. And when I say travel, I don't mean photography, like, like truly travel. They have like this very tiny mini clip-on bag. If you spend 130 on their website, they're gonna throw this into your order. And this is another really like easy bag to throw on to any other bag or throw it in a bag. Again, you can't have enough bags. At 220, they begin to add other accessory bags from their travel lineup. And then again at 330 and finally at $500 spent on their store. So like, let's say you're buying a large version of this bag, getting some accessories and a camera strap, you're basically there. They're gonna send you all these other bags, including their really large duffel. They're gonna include all of their travel bags at certain price points for you as well for free as a gift for buying their products. One Craft is a good company, so be sure to check them out and they are number 10 on our list. Again, everything that I've talked about is linked below. There are no affiliate links. Everything is just plainly linked for you to check out. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have questions or comments, 
leave anything down below. I try to respond to every single comment that I get. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, or whatever you celebrate. Thanks for being part of this channel and community, and I will see you next time.